You know, I am quickly reminded that one time there was this revival at some church. Then this pastor also went there to attend. And I recall very well, I was so amazed at the time that, oh, wow, this pastor has joined us. Oh, wait, maybe the pastor can be encouraged because this man of God is so anointed and what he's doing. I was so shocked to learn after that that pastor, when that pastor I had, that, when I started to find out that that pastor was criticizing that man of God, because I got to recall and reflect that the reason that pastor went to that, attend that service it was because that pastor did not like that man of God and wanted to see it on themselves that is it real to observe. No wonder I got to realize that pastor left even the service before it went out. So that's when I learned, oh, the, what, the reason for going there was not to hear the word of God, but it was to see it for themselves. So with this being said, I realized and I got to learn so well, you know, and I got to see it. And I'm glad that it is how it is. God has given me that faith that when God has blessed you, no one can stop it. And whenever there is something new happening, people are going to come together and watch. And some, depending on the situation, they won't come together and watch because it's not a watchable situation, but from as far as they can, from as distance that they can have, they will be observing to know whether it's real or it is something that is going to die out soon. This goes as far as even on social media. Some they observe even when someone is always posting, when they know they used to you posting good stuff, the time you stop, they be like, ah, oh, maybe this person is out of mind. Ah, oh, maybe this is that. You get what I'm saying? If it's a marriage, happy marriage, lovely, Davy and all, when they stop posting, they say there is trouble in paradise. But fortunately, as a man of God and something that I also apply, I have a word for you. Don't be scared of them. As long as you are being blessed by God, as long as the Lord is still your guide, he's directing you. It is your time. No enemy can withstand. God already saw. That's why sometimes the Lord won't bless you sooner. It is because he already see that the challenges that are going to follow up, the attacks that the enemy is going to try to put or inflict on you, they're going to succeed. Hence, he waits a little long until you are ready to handle and overcome and block all the attacks that are going to go come after. Because there is no way you can be blessed and nobody curses you. No way you can be, succeed and nobody wishes you bad. But when it is the your time, nobody can do anything about it. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I want to declare and declare right now that the time, your time has come. And they will gather. And you will wonder why and all the Lord says, do not care. Do not worry about them. Do not mind them. Only remember this with that you've been given right now and it is your time fear none be happy and ignore them i pray for you in jesus mighty name amen and i'm ishmael and see you next time